Hello everybody, happy Saturday. How's everybody today? I'm just doing lovely. Thanks for asking. Thank you for asking. So, today everybody's talking about the border. It's the border this, the border that. But you know, if they would just accept uh, Joe Biden's offer, they'd have nothing to complain on because that's all it's going to be is the border. They've given up on abortion because they know how badly that took them away and lost them just about everything they had. Um, the RNC in places like Colorado and Michigan are going broke because of the people running the RNC. Cheers to that. Oh, well, that says stop petting my peeves. Good cup of tea for today, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's get into this. I guess you could put this under whose kiss in the ring. Republicans, just saying. So, all the Republicans are bound down to ex-POTUS pull-ups. Uh, the party family values? Hmm, <laughs> kidding me? He has been found to have, in a, in, judge, in a judge's words, to have R-A-P-E-D, E. Jean Carroll. And you sent him your hard-earned money to get him re-elected, even though... Only 10 cents, 10 cents of the money you send him goes to his campaign. The other 90 cents goes right into his pocket. And you know where that money's going. That money, you're going to go and you're going to pay E. Jean Carroll with that money. Surprise! That's where it's going. Going to pay her. Going to pay her twice. $10 million the first time and $83.3 million this time. And the money's already been taken out because it's in a trust that the court holds. And if he couldn't afford it, then he would have to take a mortgage out on one of these places. And not many people want to lend him money right now. Just saying. So anyway, let's get down to this. Um, did uh, Trump get you $35 insulin for your mother, grandmother? No? No, oh, no, he didn't do that. No. Uh, Republicans are so feeble and thirsty for his attention that they literally sell their souls to the two-time impeached racist... Where's my black at? Remember that at the rally? Where's my black at? Yeah, one guy in the crowd. One. Tell you anything? Um, or when Ivanka was uh, dating Jared. Oh, is that Jew coming over? <laughs> That's the kind of thing he's into. Um, he cheated on all three of his wives, and he's probably still cheating on uh, Melania because she's still around. So... Now, Lena's around more than she is, so I don't know. Weigh that out, will ya? Um, and he allowed 6,000 different people to walk controlled substances at the back door of the White House, so you tell me. Just saying. Um, maybe the Coke found at the White House wasn't part of the Biden administration, after all. Just saying. Um, so, the MAG idiots. Or Magnidiots. Let's do it that way. Um, Greg Abbott. He's blocking the very help that he's screaming about. And the MAGA terrorists said they need so badly. Uh, he's even blocking Border Patrol and some police officers, local and uh, state police, from doing their jobs and rounding up people trying to get into the country illegally. So... Um, Border Patrol has been blocked access from their boat launches and processing area in Shelby Park. He's called out the Texas National Guard, who pulled Border Patrol boats from the water in the Rio Grande and put them on trailers. Shipping containers topped with concertina wire were uh, there to block the access. Um, and military drones were heard overhead. Shelby Park includes... Uh, a golf course, there's approximately 47 acres that are all um, enclosed with concertina wire right now. Yeah, this is called martial law to the rest of us, isn't it? When you won't let your own police officers and stuff handle this and you won't let Border Patrol do their job and you're holding it up with military people, that would be martial law, M-A-R-T-I-A-L, not M-A-R-S-H-A-L-L. -L. No, martial law. Um... Local authority and enforcement apparently has no authority to enter Shelby Park. Just the military and just the National Guard. 
because the rest of the military is controlled by the commander in chief, who would be, that's right, Joe Biden, president of the United States, not POTUS pull-ups. Uh, the worst part of this stunt is that SCOTUS, Supreme Court of the United States, has ordered them to dismantle the hazards which have killed one woman and her two children in Eagle Pass. And this happened because Abbott's stunt blocked the Border Patrol from helping her and her kids. Guess who helped them? The Mexicans. The Mexicans came across, recovered the bodies, and saved two other people because the Americans couldn't defend their own border because of Abbott. That's right. Um, Abbott has refused to follow the law, even though SCOTUS said it was illegal and that the, the feds can go in there and start cutting down that razor wire. Even with six MAGA justices, they still know the law is the law most of the time. And if this isn't bad enough, he's authorized the police forces to criminally charge brown people. It's sort of like stop and frisk if you're brown. Better have your papers with you, just saying. Um, the Texas border is a federal jurisdiction, not state. Hence, not Greg Abbott's. He's cruel. He's a bigoted ra uh, racist that actually said, the only thing we're not doing is we're not shooting people. who come, Not shooting people who come across the border because, of course, the Biden administration would charge us with murder. Well, why wouldn't they? Why would any law enforcement people not charge you with murder? Anyway, it was a Breitbart um, interview that he did when he said that, because he wouldn't have said that on regular TV, I'm just saying, on popular information channels. Um, she asked him, what is the maximum amount of pressure that you as a governor can implement to protect the border? And Abbott said, we are using every tool we can. I signed a law making it illegal for somebody to enter Texas from another country, and they're subject to arrest and subject to deportation. So, as a Canadian, I ain't visiting Texas anytime soon. Don't think any people from any other countries, Ireland, the Brits, Australians, I don't think anybody else is coming to Texas after that, just saying. Who needs that anguish, right? Now the Mango Moose Knuckle has put word out to block the immigration bill. Just because Trump was too stupid and too much of a loser to not have done it in his four years as POTUS pull-ups. And uh, he wanted electric fencing. He wanted um, alligators in the water, right? Um, he never completed the border wall. And P.S. Mexico didn't pay for it. And as far as sending them 28,000 soldiers, they didn't send them for him. They did that for themselves. Think about it. All those other people coming through their country, they did that to police their own country, not for the mango moose knuckle. Um, over a 1,000 little kids were separated under his regime from their parents. Many still nursing. Pulled them off the chest of their moms. They either lost the records or were too incompetent to hire experience. And experience over pretty is what I'm thinking. Only 148 of those almost 1,100 kids were reunited with their parents. 148. Now, the likes of Kevin Stitt of Oklahoma is encouraging uh, more governors uh, into asking troops to rebel against their commander-in-chief and join Greg Abbott's military with uh, 25 other MAGA governors. And they all want to back that bullshit. So 25 other governors are ready to start basically a civil war because they're encouraging the military from 25 different states to go down and help Greg Abbott. What they're doing is they just don't they got all the help they want. They just won't push it through Congress. But the mango moose knuckle has spoken, so that's let the rapists commence. And, of course, they're blaming Biden for his open border. The MAGAs have blocked over $14 billion in aid to the border, which would have brought in 2,500 new border uh, patrol agents, more technology, and more folks to process migrant claims. Now, Biden has also kept most of his, uh, most of, um, POTUS pull-ups policies, 
in case you hadn't noticed, the only one that disappeared was Title 42 because there is no pandemic anymore. <sighs> so they put in play, but uh, Biden has streamlined these things to make them more efficient. He has outpaced Trump by taking uh, 535 immigration actions compared to only 472 under Trump. And Biden's only been in uh, power just a little over three years, three and a half years. Um, Biden has tightened border controls and asylum eligibility. American country uh, eligibility. The Biden administration increased coordination with Latin American countries to bring migration opportunities closer to the migrants' home countries. Uh, Biden and the DHS has removed a higher percentage of arrested uh, migrants in his first two years than Trump did in his last two years. Migrants were more likely to be released after arrest under Trump than they were under Biden. Um, they keep talking about catch and release, catch and release. Happened more under Trump, just saying. Um, Didi Don's phrase was, ooh, the catch and release, catch and release. No, Biden got rid of more than he did. Biden's DHS has removed 3.5 times as many people per month than Trump's DHS did during his whole term. Trump's DHS made 1.4 uh, million arrests. That's pretty impressive, right? 1.4 million arrests 2019 to 2020. In one year, it's pretty good. And only um, 37 and only 47 percent were sent back, though. Now, Biden's DHS made over 5 million arrests in 26 months and removed over 2.6 million or 51 percent. Biden administration has removed a majority of those arrested. As of March 20th, Trump removed only 37 percent of those arrested through the fiscal year 2019-2020, and Trump failed to remove 1.2 million arrested border crossings from 2017 to 2020. Yes, he failed to remove 1.2 million in th over three years. So because of uh, Biden's administration, some people have put caps on Biden's pathways to legal immigration, which are, uh, which are uh, to lower the number. Now massive backlogs have occurred and effectively shut down the process of new people applying. If the caps are removed, more people could enter legally and there would be less uh, illegal immigration. And this is where Biden's $114 million investment or billion dollar investment comes into play and makes the process more streamlined and more efficient. Now, bend and kiss the ring, all you Republicans, because you know what? You know there's a fix to it and you know it would be good, but because it's a Biden administration, you aren't willing to help the people. And this isn't the first time it's happened. It happened during the Reagan administration when they went ahead and told um, terrorists around the world, just hang on to the hostages till Reagan gets in, you'll get a better deal. Right? Nixon did the same thing. So um, just sensing a little continuation of that bullshit. But anyway, that's my talk on the border today. Oh, geez, that went along 13 minutes. Whew, hope you watch it all. Just saying. If you like it, love it, share it. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Sorry it took so long. There's a lot to get out on the border, isn't there? Mwah. Be good to you first so you can be good to somebody else. Naughty Nana loves you.